And a local family found hundreds of letters and pictures dating back from World War II. Those forgotten mementos were in an old military trunk that became an accidental time capsule. At least Preston has the story. Corporal Kenneth Granke specialized in communications during World War II. Now, nearly 75 years later, the Marine veteran is still sharing important messages. Vintage uniforms and old black and white photos all help tell the story of Corporal Kenneth Granke. It was an adventure. But it's his own words, written nearly 75 years ago. November 18th, 1944. That his daughter Jennifer loves reading now. Dear Mom and Pop, well, here I am back in camp. Those words showing her dad, who is now 93, when he was just a teenager. And I'm real proud of you for not crying, and Pop too. Almost every day I wrote a letter. More than 200 here, all penned to his family during World War II and saved carefully by the corporal's mom, after the Racine native enlisted in the Marines at the age of 17. I hitchhiked to Milwaukee to enlist. About 12 of us guys signed up. To serve our country in one of the world's most pivotal times, what we learned, he lived. They had all the Marines, or most of the Marines, in, uh, down in the hole and so they wouldn't get blown off the ship. The kamikaze strikes through his eyes, not a history book. I looked at the walls and they were about 40 feet high. None of us were heroes. But they were, to us now and to those then. The veteran says his troop was among the first to respond to Nagasaki following the atomic bomb. A big stretch of people, as far as you can see up these hills around Nagasaki, and they were all holding out their hands. Survivors were hungry. The little kids would hand, you know, hands out to, to try to reach the top of the truck. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't, but then we bent down and gave them K rations. They started believing in us that we weren't going to kill them. I prayed for everybody, you know. And uh, it's my nature. Those prayers of the always faithful Marine still here. But it's his prayer now that his legacy teaches us all love, compassion, friendship, like the one he developed with this woman seen in this photo. I was walking down the street and uh, a lady's voice said, uh, hi there, Marine. And I was surprised <laughs> that they could speak English. It was welcome surprise. Did you befriend her? Yeah, we, I gave her a lot of food. That service to others setting a blueprint from a boy who returned to Marine and just wanted his family along for the journey. Really, it's as if he wrote them to us. It was an honor to chat with Corporal Granke, and we wanted you to be able to see more of what the Marine veteran said about his experiences. Right now, you can head to our website, tmj4.com, to find a multimedia gallery. Just click on this story. Elise Preston, today's TMJ4.